speaker either, you guys. Uh, when those first, I think first three or four went down from the three line, is, it, is there a contagiousness to that? Either way, if they're not going or if they are? Yeah, I would say so. Um, you know, every time we play Portland, they kind of do something funky on defense and try to throw us off. But I think our, our approach was uh, good. And, you know, those first three, three threes went down. And, you know, I feel like that got everyone's confidence going up. I'm sure they kind of Stars did a great job giving us that early cushion. And, uh, yeah, seeing a big burn tonight, which was, which was good. Braden, how important are these opportunities for you where you can get a longer run? I think 24, might, 24 minutes might be your season high. Um, what does it mean to be able to be out there and kind of play through mistakes and have other chances to score and defend? It's, it's great. I mean, it's all kind of just a, a learning experience. I mean, that's, that's how I looked at it. Last year was, was a great learning experience for me, learning from, from guys like Con and Drew just on the bench now. Finally, getting those minutes and that that uh, PT is, is huge, and I'm just just kind of trying to make the most of it. What did you kind of learn from the end of that game on Saturday, the, the stretch that you played? Uh, what were kind of some of your takeaways, and what what were the coaches, teammates telling you? Yeah, after that I mean, game? It, it's I mean, it's a tough position. Just my role, just kind of you never you always gotta gotta stay ready. It was a long stretch in the second half. I was I was out for and uh, to come in with Graham and foul trouble. Just uh, be ready. And, um, just gotta gotta work your tail off, especially in a game like that. Just gotta give it all you got and uh, lock up and get stops. I think that that's the biggest thing, especially in, in crunch time like that. Green coach told you uh, he, he thought that maybe you'd be a good pickleball or, or ping pong player because your hand eye coordination. Are you? And then where does that come from? Also, <laughs> basketball court. Um, we played we played a little bit at uh, Coach Few's house. A little bit of pickleball at Coach Few's house. And, the fall when we went up there, and I like to, I like to think I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good on the team, but that might just be me. I don't know if the other guys agree, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, um, I don't know where, where the hand-eye coordination comes. I think it's just kind of, kind of natural. But I mean, we got Ryan and Nolan, great guards, who are just kind of putting the ball right where, right where it needs to be, and make my job easy. So. Anton, how's your pickleball game? No, it's decent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It depends on. I think me and B Huff would be a crazy yeah, duo yeah, in pickleball. Sure. No, it's team length right there. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, they don't want to see us on the pickleball yeah. court. Is that length something that allows you guys, you think, to be so efficient finishing around the rim? You guys are both pretty efficient tonight. Yeah, I'll say so, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, just the touch around the rim, I think, you know. Play basketball for a long time. You kind of just learn that touch and just the feeling. And you know he's had it since day one, since he's been here. And it's kind of the same thing that Drew had. Um, when he gets around the rim, he doesn't really miss. So yeah, just I feel like just touch and instincts. How different is it guarding a guy like Robertson? Yeah, it's it's a little different. Um, but he's good. He's IQ player. You know he's gonna draw fouls but um he's not the fastest most explosive player but it's it's definitely different um but I'll say he's a fun guy to guard and um I think I matched up against him the past four years so you know it's been it's been super competitive with him and you know I just take it as a challenge every time I see him. Anton what was the mindset of, the, of this team coming off of an emotional game Saturday with what you guys have this Saturday coming up, it could have easily kind of been considered a trap game today. How has this team kind of approached this week in general? Yeah, um, not, I wouldn't say necessarily just watch that game out of our minds, but um, we know that we had a game coming up today, and then, you know, we got a big one on Saturday. So, you know, we just got to take these opportunities and you know, take full advantage of them. So um, we can't really dwell on the past or dwell on our losses, but um, we know that we can't really lose any more games. So. Yeah, I'll just say we were locked in ever since I lost. But yeah. What do you think of playing in Rump, both of you guys? I'm excited for the the experience. I got got a lot of family coming down for that one. It's kind of kind of close to to where I'm I'm from. So uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's a historic place. It's gonna be gonna be a great atmosphere. Really really excited for that game. Yeah, no, it's gonna be crazy. Um, kind of like we played Alabama last year, but we didn't play at the arena, but. Yeah, playing in Rub, I think that's just a once-in-a-lifetime type of thing, especially for Gonzaga. 
and yeah, I got some family down there that's about to go, so I think it's going to be special. Anton, this is a much different Kentucky team from last year, but what kind of challenges do they still uh, present, I guess, from if you've been able to watch them all this season? Yeah, no, they're, they're just super talented. Um, they always have a talented team, you know, athletic. Um, yeah, and they got a good coach, so um, yeah, I think they're going to be a good team. Um, it's going to be it's going to be a fun game. They like to go up and down the court. Um, they don't play slow, so I think it's going to be a high paced game and it's going to be super fun to play. Do you feel like there's added importance in that game, just for what it could do for you? Yeah, I would say so. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll be locked in for that one for sure. Hey, Anton, does it help only playing 25 minutes tonight after such a physical game on Saturday? And you know you got another big one coming up, and having guys like Braden step up and give you a little bit more rest today. Yeah, I'll say it helped. Um, yeah, 25 minutes—that's not too much, but. Uh, playing 40 minutes on Saturday, that was, that was kind of a lot. It's just kind of hard on the body, but I think we're doing a good job as a team, just recovery-wise, and you know, getting with our trainers and just making sure we're ready because we got a lot of guys playing a lot of minutes. So um, I think we just got to be prepared and you know, stay locked in on that. Good morning, guys.